Hey, happy Tuesday, Roulette Fools. Brent with AOB. Wild day yesterday. If, you, if you've seen day 22, we're on day 23. Yesterday we ended at 15,235, which is what our balance is today. We ended up $503. I won't spoil yesterday's roller coaster ride if you haven't seen yesterday's video, but it was, it was fun. So we're going to start at 15,235 today. Start out with a zero balance and let's see what we can do. Yesterday was wild. Today I will be, uh, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit today. I don't wanna push my luck for two or three days in a row. Although we kicked ass yesterday, so it was a good day. Uh, 20 and 10, 14, 13, boy, it's kinda all over, huh? Mm, 20, 10, 10, 14, 13. Six, five. Mm, nothing looks really good here. So let's just go 9th Street reverse. All right. Man, love the love the positive feedback today. Um, was reading the comments from yesterday. So here's the deal. This cracks me up. So shout out to Six Line Forever, who's been kind of trolling the comments yesterday. I get this, calling this strategy worthless, saying how this is not going to work. Uh, one person said, "Hey, this is a great channel." Six Line Forever comes in and says, "Yeah, but you haven't seen my channel." <clears throat> so I go to his channel. Hey, I'm I'm all game for learning stuff. I'm 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 cool with that. There's our first win. I'm cool with learning that, thinking, okay, this cat's got something going on. If he's going to brag that he never loses and he's kicking ass, I go there, and it's it's like opening the fridge when I was in college, right? Just broken hopes and shattered dreams. Nothing in there. Maybe a ketchup bottle and some mustard, right? He's playing Casino Royale, fake money, fake app. And I'm like, you can't do that and say you never lose. I mean, I can go on there. I can go on to Casino Royale right now and record it and make billions of dollars. I, mean, I guarantee you, I can. we can crush it on there. So all I gotta say is, if you're gonna say you got a better way of doing things, I'm cool, I'm, I'm game with that. And if you wanna promote your channel, you don't have to come being a negative person and, and trying to drum up traffic that way. I'm, I'm game for sending, you know, go to Casino, Three, two, you know, go to any of these other websites and I post links to them. I'm happy to promote you, but at least be proving something. You know, at least Roulette Grinder, he's playing with real money. He's showing you the wins and the losses, you know. Um, so, Roulette Joe is showing you some really cool things on live tables. Or, or Krup, Joe, Joe Krupier, sorry, Roulette Joe. Um, Casino 329, showing real money on real stuff. Hey, I'll promote the shit out of you. I'll give you call outs. I have no issues with that. Just don't come in here and talk and smack and <laughs> insulting everyone and then you go to your website and <clears throat> Yay. Another roulette channel with Casino Royale. Fake money. Fake app. Hmm. <clears throat> Anywho's saw some people posted their strats in there i'm definitely gonna i'm definitely writing those down and i'm gonna go play with them on with gold coins here offline so i can get comfortable making sure i'm placing the bets better this time than the the last time where i did the four or three corners and the the other three streets on the other dozens wrong all right all right all right we're starting out pretty decent pretty decent this was reminiscent of yesterday with one exception i won't um won't go crazy like it did just i don't you know those that jumped in yesterday i gotta tell you i i understand i preach it earlier on and this is the way you want to do it if you're going to especially if you have a small bankroll or you really are legitimately trying to you know make these funds grow and you're going to you know use that money Small sessions, take your profit, leave, don't chase. But I'm 
I'm not in that boat right now. I want to be a little riskier. I want to throw some larger bets on there. It makes it fun for me. And for those who are saying, oh yeah, one more bet. I think someone said yesterday, one more bet. See, if he had lost that 4,000, he'd be bankrupt. No, I'm not. Wasn't even close. There's our first loss. Wasn't even going to be close. I'm not even going to double up on this one. I am going to double up on this one. Lose 4,000, I'm bankrupt. I have a bankroll of $30,000. We haven't even touched the vault yet. Even if we had lost that, I think we would have maybe gone down to 5K total. So I think, I don't even know if it was that far, but yeah, maybe it was 5, 6, 7K we would have been had it left in our bankroll. That's 5 or 6 or 7K plus the 21 plus thousand dollars we've got in the vault. No, that is not going bankrupt. So. I try to talk through it as I'm placing those bets to show you that, yes, I know the thought process here. Sun Beach. Well, that's not what we wanted to do, is it? Anyway, so. It's all right. It's all right. We're doing well. I mean, even if we lose this, we're at 14,470. We start with nine. I mean, this is day 23 right so even if i'm a little off mark which i fully expect to be on mark by the end of the month in fact yesterday we reached our 300 daily average goal yesterday before well you know what happened so i have i have no doubt we're going to reach our 300 dollars a average target every day and yeah i look forward to the negative comments and nope can't be done nice that's what we needed right there. Where does that get us? Boo. So, I definitely don't like this when you get up to two losses in a row. Or is that, yeah, two losses in a row. That kind of sucks, right? Because then you got to keep it up at this higher bet. We're going to have to keep it at 540 for another time. And then drop it down. Is it, let's see, that's 540. That's a 180. That's 360. So on this bet right here, it's a 180 profit. So 135 loss plus 270. No, some beach. What happened here? I'm hoping it was a miss spin. Please be a miss spin. <laughs> we don't want it to be at 14. What's he saying here? I, I wasn't even paying attention. That's what I did yesterday when we were talking about food. I wasn't paying attention and placed some bets that I didn't mean to. All right. I'm going to put you on pause real quick because sometimes this can take this can take five minutes. So I'm going to put you on pause and when we figure out what's going on with this, we'll be back. Let's cross our fingers for a misspin. Okay. We lucked out there. It was a misspin or something. I wasn't paying attention. Either the ball didn't go around three times or something funky happened, but they're respinning. All right. Either way, we get a second chance at this. So, amen. <laughs> Sometimes it works out in our favor. Okay. Dodge a little bit of a bullet there, and we'll take it. We will take it. Okay. And some good points yesterday. Learn my lesson. Don't look to, to bring on board these companies that talk about advertising and driving traffic. Build it organically. Do it the right way. Much respect. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do our thing and if people come, they come. If they don't, they don't. And we're just going to do our thing. Okay. Liking this. Liking this. Let's see if we can get up to 300 and uh, take a break. And then I'm going to come back and do some grind and see if we can't get to 500. Where are we at right now? We are at 15,415. Okay, so we're at our average daily is 279. 
Just out of curiosity, if this were 300, hmm. we'll see. We will get to that 300. All right. Nice. I still have yet to have one naysayer in the comments section when they say that we will be going bankrupt, we will lose everything. They have yet to define what long term means or how many games or how many sessions that is. No, None of you are willing to literally put that down on writing. None of you. I have yet to see it. So go ahead, put it down. Sure, go ahead and make it outrageous. 20 years. Okay, whatever. I've been doing this for over 15 and so far so good. All right, there we are, 270. now don't give us the curse because I'm actually kind of hungry right now I'd like to go get some eggs or something all right we're taking our break we met our daily goal today so we are going to stop right there we are at 15550 let's just see where that 15550 and that takes up to 285 daily balance we're gonna get this today. I don't know, I'm not gonna call it a 1K day, but I'm definitely gonna call it a 500 day, okay? So, all right. Hope you guys are all having a great Tuesday. Be good humans, be good to each other. We'll see you soon. Okay, hey, we're back for another session, quick session. I've lowered my betting down to 45. We're gonna see if we can get a couple wins at this level and just kind of build up. My goal for today is 500. And I'll have to see where that puts us because my goal is to get us back to a, the daily average of $300 a day, which is exactly where we need to be to get to our one year goal. Mm, good thing we dropped down. First spin curse. Okay, let's keep going. Lots of good comments. Let's get, let's get something straight here. So that we're all on the same page. I, I believe when we're talking to have good communication, we need to be working on the same definitions. Many, many times now, people have come in there and said, "This is there is no strategy with this. He's just doubling his bets or whatever. Strategy is not tied to outcome. Strategy is not tied to the ratios or the win-loss percentages. That's not what strategy is. Strategy is straight up, that's your plan of whatever you plan on doing. It may be a successful strategy, it may be a terrible strategy, but it's a strategy. So let's not make comments like that because that just that takes away your validity <laughs> to say stuff like that. So you can say your strategy is dumb, you can say your strategy will fail, all good with that. Don't say there's no strategy. I definitely have a strategy. Just if I were to say nothing but I'm going to play nine streets, that's a strategy. If I could say I'm going to play nine streets and I'm going to double on losses, that's a strategy. I'm going to play nine streets and I'm never going to double. I'm going to play a flat bet. That's a strategy. I don't know. I'm just trying to help you out be more argumentative. <laughs> be effectively argumentative. <laughs> All right, we got it back. Let's keep going. See if we can get a couple up here. And then I'm going to do the challenge today. I will keep a track on it, but we're going to pretend we have, let's say, 
let's say a hundred dollars now let's go with fifty we're gonna go with fifty dollars go to the other server and see if we can turn that fifty into a hundred we're gonna see if we can just sit and double it and keep growing from there the other question came in if you sign up for steak do you get your one dollar steak cash every single day I don't know if you sign up regular I've never signed up just regular so you might you'll just have to contact and I'll contact steak and get some more information on that I'm not sure if you automatically get if you're regular if you get that automatically if you sign up under someone as affiliate link I don't know maybe you just get it no matter what I'll find out but I'm pretty sure I always got it I get it every day whether I play or I don't play whether I fund or I don't fund there let's claim our dollar so if you sign up just to stake go to stake.us i'm not sure if stake.com has it so you can go to stake.us and sign up and see if they will give you the dollar i'll try to find out i know for sure if you sign up under someone's affiliate link and again i don't care if you sign up the affiliate link i have posted down or don't uh, i get next to nothing off of it I've never even claimed anything off of it, but I know for sure you'll get the dollar, but I think you might get it anyway, no matter what. So, okay, look at this. Lana, come on, help us out. So anyway, but it is kind of neat. Like I said, I mean, if you're on a really tight bankroll where we were talking, I know some of you said you had $10, $20, if you get one dollar a day and you do nothing but log in and claim your dollar, that's thirty bucks in a month, right? So that's a that's a good deal when you're considering that you're going to be betting ten cent bets, you know. So make it happen. I'll I'll check on that for you. And uh, if there is if there's no difference between signing up and I'm going to leave it at this bet. If there's no difference between signing up and signing up through affiliate, I'll get the entire list of benefits you get signing up through an affiliate. An affiliate means a member that's already there that has a pretty high uh, tier status, which let's not brag, but check this out. We are at 99.38 towards Platinum 3. Sweet. I'll tell you what that's going to come with. It's going to come with a nice little immediate bonus for making platinum three it's going to come with 45 days of a daily redemption like we were getting the 76 dollars i'm going to get 45 days of that on a, in addition the uh, weekly and the monthly bonuses will also increase so some good news there all right look at that we're up to 345 just going to kind of so what are my plan is right now is i'd like to crank up to 400 and then I would like to go into the Excel sheet and I'll set it up a little bit before and put you on pause. But we're going to start that other challenge. I really liked what people said uh, the last couple of days saying it would be nice to have a challenge where you're using a low bankroll with low bets and see how that does. Low bankroll is always tougher. It's much tougher than having a large bankroll because you just don't have much. You're limited in the bets you can do. You're li much more limited on how much you can go up to recover. So you definitely have to play much smarter with way f more discipline than if you don't, and than if you have a large bankroll. All right, here we go. We'll bump over to the other server. And who knows, maybe I'll do the thing, I'll try it again. Betting 125, which are 25 five streets, and then betting $5 double streets, and it's nothing but playing with house money until you lose. Your risk is obviously like last time we did that, we lost twice in a row 125 and 250. But it's also not a bad way to grind when you're talking about the kind of dollars that we have here. You can either do this with $9, right, and make $3 a spin. You can go to the other server and do one dollar double streets for a total bet of five dollars and just sit there and bet it's you know it's, it's spinning roughly every 45 seconds you're making a buck you know buck a minute and at a five dollar bet it's pretty easy to double or even triple your bet to recover and not be out a lot of money again if you're talking about 
your bankroll is let's say a thousand dollars or even five hundred or more than betting a five dollar bet on one dollar five double streets that's a pretty i consider it a pretty safe way could you lose five times in a row sure someone mentioned in here said yeah you know i have no strategy if i would have lost the four thousand and then lost another bet at eight thousand i would have been wiped out well that's not true i still have twenty one thousand dollars in the vault and we have 15,000 so that would have taken us if we had bet 4,000 then 8,000 yes that would have taken us that would have taken our initial stake here our bankroll of 9,000 down to zero but we still have 21,000 so someone else wrote in said well my loss is you know how I lost yesterday maybe the day before how it went down before coming up that is a factor of two things boredom and greed number one it is not a factor for me right here it's not a factor of greed I agree that on a lot of players chasing the bankroll I don't even know if it's so much a greed as it is pride and just not wanting to accept a loss I don't know if I'll agree that it's greed but I I, I do know that that does play a part oh there's a loss bummer deal we needed that on our last one in this case, I have earmarked this money. I've said it a million times. I've earmarked this money for loss. This is about the challenge to me. This is not about a greed, not me going, oh, I want more money for I want more money. I like pushing myself. I like the challenge, but it's not fucking greed. You can mix in a little stupidity there. And it's, it wasn't boredom. I mean, I enjoy what I'm doing. I just found that I felt a little bit constrained too much by playing the way that I want those of you that are brand new that's the way i would like you to play because it's the safe play it's the best play especially for the long run i'm would like to push the limits a little bit more you know all right we won our double which is good so and someone else wrote yep you losing a thousand dollars and going in the hole thirty three hundred dollars was completely your fault and you know what you're 100 percent correct that was my fault I accept the I accept that when I lose it is my fault. I chose to keep pushing, not taking breaks, doubling up, pushing through. And that's what I said I would do. And I did it. Although I believe there were some times that said, Oh, come back from break and we're gonna go slower, and then I'm like, No, we're all in. <laughs> I reserve the right to change my mind at any time. <laughs> Oh, and I'm glad so many of you got a kick out of my food trauma for my childhood. <laughs> I've got more stories I'm going to share like that that are just, I don't even know how I made it. I did see a shirt. It said something like, and I'm sure many of you have seen it. It said something like um, about being a, um, a Gen Xer. You know, it said Gen Xer raised on hose water and neglect. I love that. I love that so true so true things were different back then i'm not saying all of them were good i mean seat belts weren't a thing i remember my dad and i going fishing and we had an old ford truck and after coming back late in the evening and maybe a little wet from waiting in the waters i'd be curled up on the floorboard of the passenger side of the truck with the heater blowing on me no seat belt <laughs> i mean granted i wear a seat belt and i'm a staunch believer in seat belts but all right, look at that. We're at 405, and as promised, I'm going to stop right there with that one. I am going to put you on pause. I'm going to go edit the spreadsheet so that we can have our second challenge documented there, and we'll be right back. All right, cheers. Okay, we're back. So we started a new low bankroll. We're going to start out with a $50 balance. We're going to shoot for a $2 a day, and our goal is to make an additional $50 which would double our money so the way I $50 is a little low if I come here to this this is what I use to determine what my bankroll should be when playing nine numbers so our unit is 10 cent units right if we we're playing nine numbers well I want to have at least eight which would be at this number nine because we have a, a one column up there but I want to have at least, in this case, I'd want to have at least a $200 bankroll if I were going to bet $1 units on nine streets. 
So we're gonna bet 10 cent units on five double streets, but because of the five to one ratio, I believe the balance has to be roughly the same. So this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna keep track of it here. It's gonna get kind of hanky because any wins and losses take out of our, of here. So we're just gonna have to be a little bit flexible with that moving forward, okay? So here we go. Let's uh, get back into it. We're gonna go 10 cent bets. We're gonna go double streets. And we're gonna triple bet on losses. So, and we'll leave it there for two, we'll triple it for two, for two, which it means if we lose this, we'll bet 30 cent double streets, 30 cent per double street. Okay, and that will get us back to recovery plus one on a loss. We might go safer, we'll see how this goes. We might go just double, and you have to win two, two plus one more at the base unit spin in order to go up. Uh, I'm gonna reset this. All right, this will keep track of that. So let's just set it repeat. And what I might do here is just take it for 25 rounds, and that way I can just concentrate on doubling it when it comes. And you can always stop this, hit this X if you don't want it to keep going. But this way I don't miss. And when we're bending low amounts like this, that's cool. That's cool. All right, I don't care about hot and cold, so let's get rid of that. And I don't care about the racetrack, let's get rid of that. Okay, here we go. I don't know how many spins we'll go, but if our goal today is $2, that's 20 spins, that's 20 wins. Ooh, almost hit that 36. All right, 20 cents. This is the kind of section of the video you could just skip to the end if you wanted to. <laughs> I mean, unless those of you are interested in how this plays out. Uh, it always seems to do better when I'm when you when you bet low amounts and you have a high bankroll. If we only had fifty dollars, this might be more difficult. I don't know. That's just how the casino gods work. They're like, yeah, sure, bet ten cents, and then as soon as I put twenty five dollars down a double street, that's when I lose. All right, let's see how this rolls. Okay, so far so good. So the thing that's tough about this, and it's a little bit tough about the nine street that has a, I like, I personally think a three to one ratio is a very acceptable win loss ratio in order, you need to win three times at the same bet to win once. This has a five to one. That gets to be a little tough, but I mean, you're covering, right, a lot of the board, over 80% of the board, so on a single zero wheel, so I think maybe 82%, I'll have to go back and look. Well, it's two points in per number times another six numbers, 18, yeah, 73, 80, 81, 82%. Okay. There we go. to 40 cents already. Now maybe you set your goal at a dollar, right? Maybe you set it at 10%, whatever you wanna do. I think this is a really easy way with low bankroll. This is a really easy way just to grind it out. I still think I would prefer nine, cause you're getting, you know, if you're betting uh, $4.50, you're winning a buck 50 but this is only bidding, betting 50 cents a spin. So much lower, much less risk, but you're only winning 10 cents. I mean, so it just means you have a whole lot more spins, but it's definitely less painful if you lose. This gives you a lot more uh, ability to double up far more. All right, so we're at five and zero. That should roughly be our ratio of five to one, because that's what we're, that's what we're covering, right? We have an 80 some percent. So we need to keep it at that five to one ratio just to break even if we weren't to Martingale. But since we do Martingale, we don't need that five to one. We could definitely go down to three to one and still be fine. I remember the days where, I mean, I just, 
I almost played exclusively this five double streets. And you can move around the double streets. Like for example, I think I showed you before. So we're covering 30 numbers. Another easy way to do it is you put three units on high or low. So three units on low and you put two units on the furthest dozen from that low. So in this case, it would be the third 12. You put two units there, three units here. It's the same as these five units. And in this case, if we did one to 18 and third 12, we would be leaving 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 exposed instead of these six numbers at the end. And you could reverse it. You could go to this end. It's just a quick way of placing bets if you're at a table and you don't want to reach and don't want to, you know, I mean, placing five double streets is pretty easy. Okay, so there's a loss. So what we're going to do is we're going to double up plus add one unit. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to get rid of that. We're going to leave that there for two spins. And I got rid of that because if it repeats the bet, I want to just make sure that I'm in full control of the values that I'm putting down and I don't forget something. I mean, earlier today, remember, was it today that I left it on $90 twice or something or was that yesterday? All the days are becoming a blur. Okay. There we go. There's one. So this one, if we win this, this will get us back to recovery plus 10 cents because we're going three up, right? We lost 50 cents. This wins us 30 cents. On a five double street, your profit is whatever that unit is that you're putting on per double street, okay? In this case, we have 30 cents. So we're gonna win 30 cents times two would be 60 cents. We lost 50, we're winning 60. Man, I got some, I was thinking last night about the food horrors of my childhood. I got some more, I got some more stories to tell you about. Uh, and this is what can happen, right? This is what can happen. So now we got to go to 90 cents each. And we got to keep an eye on this loss because we only have And that's what's really dangerous about this one is that if you lose a couple in a row, you get down in a hurry. And this amount relative to your bet size starts getting big in a hurry. If you think the nine streets get big in a hurry, this gets big in a hurry. So let's just see what we can do. And you can also move the streets around. For today, I'm just gonna stick with these five streets. Okay, there's one. Takes us down to minus 20 cents. Let's rebet that. But yeah, more food horror stories. Stuffed green bell peppers. What the hell? Alfalfa sprouts. Ugh. I like Brussels sprouts. Roasted Brussels sprouts with olive oil and some nice, you know, sea salt on top of it. Pepper, fresh cracked pepper. Alfalfa sprouts, looks like a, my mom used to put those in our sandwiches. Looked like a whole sandwich of sperm. And those things taste disgusting. I warned her, I said, I, I can't eat that. She said, you will eat it, mister. So sure, I took a bite. And then proceeded to throw up all over my plate. Okay, we got back up to 70 cents. Oh, and then I remember the time I found a cigarette when out riding my bike. We called it the big tree. We'd go down at the end of the street there, what we called the big tree. And it was like this crab apple tree. And it actually had like, I don't know what you, it was, it was growing out of, let's just call it a crater. So that when you walked up to the tree, if you opened up the branches, you would go down under and it was like, I mean, come on for kids, that's like a fort, right? So it was awesome. We called it, the big tree. Well, the big tree was also a common place for, you know, teenagers to go smoke and drink so their parents couldn't see them. 
So we, I went there one day and found an entire cigarette. So I brought it home, and of course I wanted to see what was what the haps was with this thing. So I lit it up, and of course I'm coughing my lungs out, and my mom hears me because I'm out behind the shop, and she comes out there and catches me, and she's like, "Oh." You want to be an adult. You want to smoke cigarettes. No problem. She goes down to the fucking store, buys a pack of Marlboro Red, brings it back, and a big-ass bottle, like the cheapest, shittiest Carl Rossi wine. You know the kind with the thumb hole? You know the thumb grip on it? It's a big gallon with a thumb thing. You always know cheap shit if it has a little thumb holder on it. Anyway, she brings that back, and I'm feeling like, Mr. Fucking Macho Man at that point. I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. I'll smoke cigarettes and drink wine. Oh my God. This was in a day when my brother and I, we had bunk beds and I was on top and I was, man, I was feeling blue. Hobble back, get into bed and sat up and ralphed all over my sheets. That had to be the biggest victory for my parents, you know? Well, that'll show them. Well, let me tell you something. It didn't show them because in high school, I started fucking smoking and drinking anyway. So, you didn't show me. I got the last laugh. I don't smoke anymore. You know how I feel. I went on that rant about smokers already. But I think I said this before. Isn't it interesting? Some of those things like smoking, chewing, coffee. It's like most of the time you got to force yourself to keep taking it until you like it but at first it's disgusting i remember when in high school i stopped smoking and then my buddy's like yeah you should really stop smoking that's bad for you here you should really chew <laughs> thanks pal idiot but you take that first chew and yeah it gives you a massive buzz same thing with cigarettes because you're not used to that nicotine and stuff but it's burning your lip, it tastes like ass, and you're like, what the f is this? But you stick with it, you stick with it back then because you're too macho not to, and uh, pretty soon you find it's good. So what is with that? I mean, no one had to force me to eat chocolate a second time, or ice cream, or cake, you know? That shit was good right off the bat, so why do we do those things? I don't know, it's crazy. At least in the casinos, I think if they outlawed smoking, I would be okay if they allowed vaping. I don't mind vape. I'm not, I don't want anybody blowing shit in my face, frankly. And so maybe they could somehow at least create some sections where I don't have to sit next to me. But if you're going to vape, at least it's, I can't speak to it health wise because I don't think it's any healthy. Oh no, any healthier, but. It's not as terrible as smoke. It's it's much easier. All right, here we go. Double plus three plus a third. We are at 13 and three. So we're under our five to one ratio that we would like. So martingaling is definitely necessary on this. She looks very serious. Very serious. She has that face is like, I'm going to make you lose. All right. Camilla, don't make us lose, please. Whew, but that was hitting into zero. I'm like, what are the chances we're gonna win on our triple up the twice in a, twice in a row? All right. Let's rebet this mofo. This would get us to a buck 20. Our goal was $2 a day. So we're gonna get there. I think $2 a day is pretty good, right? 10%? Is that right? <laughs> no, that's not right. $2 a day isn't close to 10%. Never mind. do not listen to my math today. All right, come on now. Give us another hit, push us up. Whew, thought that was going to the 34. Okay, there we go. So unfortunately on this server, this is when I like the fact that the pros of this server, you, have a, you can go down to 10 cent minimum bet. The cons are you can't save your bets, at least not that 
Not that I can see. And the other big pro is that you can play as many numbers as you want. So this is like an actual roulette table where you can play any way you want. People always say that in comments like, oh, if you go to the casino and they see you playing a certain way, they'll, they'll stop you. I have never been stopped. Why? Because like the naysayers say, the casino is going to win. They count on most people coming up and losing. So they're not going to stop you if you're winning. I've never been stopped at MGM or any of the local casinos here, and I've won some pretty nice bets. Okay. We're going. Look at that. We're up a buck 30. We're 13 and 6. I mean, you could be doing this with our bankroll. We could be doing this with $5, right? And we'd have five times that amount. No, we have more than five times that. Yeah, my math is terrible. Because it's 10 cents to $5, knucklehead. Oh, man. All right, let's keep cranking. Like I said, you can change your streets. You could leave 4, 5, 6, and 28, 29, 30 open, which is what I often do for some reason. And that's just my own voodoo experience that I feel like when I play 1, 2, 3, 34, 35, 36, I've had some really devastating defeats, but I've definitely won far more. But I feel like on 4, 5, 6, 28, 29, 30, so there was a loss there. 29, 28, 0, 30, eh, right, so it's the fucking same. It's all the same. Okay, let's go. It's so relaxing right now playing with <laughs> this amount of money over here than yesterday when we got to the $4,320 bets. But man, that's exhilarating, isn't it? So yeah, it's not greed, it's not boredom, but it's certainly you're chasing that. I can see you know, you're chasing that excitement for sure. Agreed. Agreed. All right. So I guess with me eating and throwing up and spitting stuff out, my dad's getting the last word because all right there we go sometimes when he's in a real mood and i'm feeding him like yesterday i was feeding him <laughs> it happens all the time <laughs> he doesn't want to eat and he just gets this look on his face like i'm feeding him death you know and he'll just take a bite and then he'll just spit it out at me so or something will go flying across i'm like i guess that's your uh your payback for those Stupid, disgusting alfalfa sprouts that you made me eat. Oh, stuffed green bell peppers. Just give me the meatloaf, please. Don't, or whatever you want to call that stuff, the stuffing, but you don't have to wrap it in disgustingness. Man, they wouldn't leave me the table. They wouldn't let me leave the table until I finished. I would sit there forever and then slowly, like, take a bite wipe my mouth with my napkin and spit it and slowly I'd have this whole napkin full of it and they would still see me taking a bite of it so they weren't really aware maybe they were I was a kid maybe they were totally onto me and they were just laughing their ass off in the other room but slowly but surely take a bite which was disgusting and slowly spit it all out and what made it worse is it's not as if I had that stuffed bell pepper with the meat inside and I was taking a bite of the meat and the bell pepper that would have been probably tolerable, right? I ate the meat the first second it got on my plate. It's gone. Now all I have left is ass, right? And it's like, oh. Somebody should have called Children Protection Services or something. Child Protective Services and come out and said, I'm sorry. You do not do this to kids. 
All right, here we go. But man, what a different world growing up. I, I don't want to make this sound like, well, when I was growing up, but definitely things have, and it'll happen with every generation, just the changes that have happened between now and then. A lot of them really good, a lot of them really bad. I'm totally pro 100% support, diversity, equity, and inclusion. I'm also 100% against whining and entitlement. Earn your own fucking way, please. Don't blame others. I'm not saying that issues don't exist and fair play on those legit, but then when people keep whining that aren't legit, you're taking away the power from the people that are really struggling with um, inequality, unfairness, etc. It takes the focus off. Don't expect people to be paying your way. Oh. All right, we're actually at our, we're above five to one, so we're doing all right. Okay, I think this is our, th well, this is the third time we've lost on a spin and then we lost, I think this is our fourth time and then we lost once after we had doubled up and we had to we had to triple again from 30 cents to 90 cents per double street all right come on now we need two of these that would get us to 150 and then the next spin would get us to 180 then we would need two spins after that i don't want to get ahead of ourselves okay 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 so we need a second one of these Okay, so I'm gonna keep track of this in our in that, in that spreadsheet that we started with 50, and we if we get to two dollars that we ended up with a two dollar day and we're at 52, and I'm not gonna worry about keeping track of this separate from our other bank girl. I mean, come on, it's two bucks, so I'll just we'll just keep going with whatever the profit or loss is on these sessions. We'll just take it. If it's a loss, we just accept that loss on our other challenge because it just should not be that much to make any difference. Get out of there, get out of here with that. Making it tough on us. All right, here we go. And we gotta go one, two, three. Now just imagine if you were betting $25 units there. Oof. We would have gone up to $75 per double street and then $225 per double street times five. Even $5 gets, you know, $5 goes to 15 per double street. 15 goes to 45 per, per double street times five, right? So it gets going in a hurry. And look, it was right next to a two. That's why I say never look at the wheel. There's a two and a 34 there. You're like, oh my gosh. On this one, I don't really care. I mean, like I said, we're betting such low amounts comparatively. I mean, this is a $4.50 bet. We haven't come anywhere close to down here at minus 110 was the closest we've come to busting our $50 starting bankroll. So hopefully this helps any of you out there. Maybe I, I'm hoping this helps you to see, because I know there was a lot of questions like, hey, I only have 10 bucks or 20 bucks. What can I do? And I think you could do this on $10 EV. I mean, we haven't hit. And then you just maybe set your, oh. So right there, what does that drop us down to? Minus 360, so. Um, we're at 90, right? Needs to be at 270. We're gonna go to 280. Just makes it easier. All right. Let's see if we can get caught back up or down minus 360. 
That's definitely the danger here. <coughs> this is our fourth progression, our bet progression. We're at the fourth level right now. Okay. Let's rebet. It's a bet of $14. Okay, come on now. So to get us, uh, yeah, this would be a nice win. All right. We would profit $2.80 from this spin. There we go. Come on, update us. And there's our two bucks. And we're gonna call that. So we just hit our two bucks on our first day challenge. We did go down 360, but on a $50 bankroll, I think that's very acceptable for what we're doing with the percent chance when we're gonna win. All right, you know what, while we're here, let me, uh, well, we won $2. Let's just go straight back here. We're gonna clear this. Maximize this, 27, 24, 3, 21, 18, 17, 30, 12. We're gonna go one, three, four again for 45. And see what we can get. Now, yeah, see what we can get. 15, five, nine, eight. So we ended this at $52 today. We got our $2 profit, $2 profit. And this will turn need to turn to one and we have $48 remaining. Nice work, 15,550. Let's see where I'll have to wait till after the spin to go and put that in. It's 15,598 plus 45. Oh, of course. Of course, of course. Okay. Let's go. Enough this silliness. What were we at? We were at 405 up. So we need $95. Get to $95. I'm going to call it a day as far as this goes. Once we get to 500 today, I'm shutting her down. And then I would like to come back and maybe get a second session in of the $50 challenge. And as well as maybe play around with some other strategies that people posted. Okay, that's a win. That's good. We needed that. Okay, let's clear this up. 15, 6, 2, 8. Well, let's win this one and get back up to balance. Get back up to even. I have to debate. If we're going to come back later and do some strategies, maybe I will risk a couple spins to get us some bonus money to sit there. And I feel, yes, some of you very kind. You wrote in and said, oh, it pains me when you lose that money. I thank you. I appreciate that. But no sweat. No sweat. All right, let's go. No. I'm gonna stick with this one more time. All right, we're back to the $90 bet. Actually, I'm gonna clear this. I'm gonna jump on up to the 135 bet. Okay, come on now, give us two wins. If we lose this one, we'll reassess and see where we're at. All right, there's a win, good. There's a win. So we're gonna go 45 and we're gonna go back up to 90. No, let's not do that. Let's say get 45, let's get caught up. 
we did a good one to catch up there with the 135. It gave us a little bit more than what we were going to get originally. Let's play cautious, play smart today. I'm not going to get crazy. Thank you for correcting me, my man, on that song, Limp Biscuit. I absolutely love Limp Biscuit. Oh, look at that. Okay. Nope, I don't want that one. Let's go here. She's hitting that second street too many times. Let's see if this does anything. So I believe we are up $345 if we don't lose this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We're gonna repeat that. Make some tracks. Ugh, three and three, that's terrible. Maybe we should go back over to the five double streets and play some bigger money over there and do what we did just now. <laughs> right? Like, can you imagine instead of a 10 cent bet, we're betting 15 cent, but that's 135 times three, times three, times three, because we went to our fourth pro progression today. That would have been pretty scary. All right. There we go. Up 30. All right. I'll be a good boy. We'll go down to 45. I feel like I want to stay at 135 and just hit, you know, one or two more wins at that level. But. If we win this one, we'd be up $45 for this latest session. And if we kept it with the $45 bet, we'd be playing with house money. Let's see how it rolls. Okay. We need five. We need four more wins. What's our balance? 15, 6, 8, 8. 15, 6, 8, 8. And we are up $453 today. Hmm. Must have deleted, deleted that formula. So I'll have to go back and put that in. How did I delete that formula? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, sweet. All right, well, at least it was a $45 bet, right? And we got a new dealer change. We are going to go $9 bets. Actually, you know, I'm going to pause and go mess around for a few spins, let her come back. I'm going to fix that spreadsheet, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's see what we can do. We are currently up 408 our daily average balance right now, assuming we don't lose this one, is $289. So, let's see what we can do. All right, there's one. All right. We need a second one. To get us up to, uh, we want to get this to 500. We'll call it a day for this. Maybe win a couple extra ones later, just some small bets to get us some profit to go back. Or maybe we'll go play, who knows, maybe we'll go play five street right now. Five double streets with $5 starting bet and see what we can do. Like I said, that can get kind of hairy fast.
All right. There it is. So we're at 15733. That takes us to 498. So we're going to go 9th Street for 9. This will get us to $501 today. In pretty short order, I think. Come on now. So this gives five. Maybe we'll play a couple more. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe we just up at 500 and don't worry about it. Don't try to build in that extra. We don't want to see this go back down. All right. There's 501 today. So. What to do? 501. Let's get a couple more of these and get to a, an even 510. <laughs> yeah, I know. You think you know where I'm going with this. Okay, come on now. What does that get us? Is that actually I want to keep going till we get up to our 300 because we're so close. And with our VIP here, 99.7. Well, there's a loss. Good thing we were only on nine dollars, right? Ninety-nine point seven. I want that diamond three level. It'll be a while to get to diamond four because diamond three, you have to place a million dollars worth of bets. To get to diamond four, you have to place two and a half million dollars, I believe. I believe that's what Max told me last night on Discord. Yeah, so from diamond two to diamond three, you have to place a million dollars worth of bets. From diamond three to diamond four, it's like two and a half. From diamond four to diamond five, it was like five million. And diamond five to diamond six, it was crazy. I mean, I don't. And then if you can get all the way up to that final one, to di this diamond, I'm sorry, we're at platinum. To get all the way to diamond, it's a lot, but apparently the benefits are crazy good. All right, we're just going to repeat that because it's only $18. But yeah, I guess if you get all the way up to that final diamond, uh, apparently it's for life or you get a daily bonus for life or something. I don't know. I don't know. Those those things, I mean, I suppose are always subject to rules and changes, right? But if we can get to the uh, Platinum 3 today, we'll get a nice little bonus for getting to there first off. And then we'll get our, our daily... Okay, there we go. 96. We're gonna go 9th Street, 135. So yeah, um, benefits. Bonus with VIP host and virtual tokens, customized benefits. They don't really tell you. I think you have to search it. I can't remember what Max says. You have to just search it and some sites have it post posted what those are. We've got a rake back, look at that, of 69.42. All right, all right, all right. We're going to keep going. I'm just curious. How much does that give us? Well, maybe they don't calculate it right away. Uh, 141. Let's go again. And then I think we're going to switch over to the other server and do $5 double streets for a bit. Okay, are they getting ready to switch dealers? I couldn't see if that guy was getting ready to come in. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, definitely. We are going to play until we hit Diamond 3. Nice. Fifteen eight two nine five hundred ninety four. Where were we at? All right, let's go forty five. We're going to drop down to forty five dollar bet. I do think it'd be kind of fun if you got up, let's say today you got 300 and then you said, whatever I get above 300, I'm going to take all that extra and put it on one spin, right? That'd be kind of fun. Ooh, there's a loss. Good thing we went down to 45, right? Okay, okay, okay. Let's get it. Marinda. Well, at least she's smiling. The other one wasn't even smiling today, right? Let's hit it. What did I say? We were at 493? We were at 594 before that loss. Oh man, there's another loss. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go to 45, go back to a basic spin. Nah, let's go up 180. <laughs> 15514. I would still keep us at 279 even if we lose this one. So if we lose this one, we'll get back up to 300 and take a break. Okay. There's one. We need to stay at this high. Oh, they're going to change. We're going to play through. We're going to play through the dealer change. Have lots of water next to your table when you're playing like this. You need to stay strong and hydrated. And I just had a big scoop of peanut butter. Give me the energy I need. No, I just love peanut butter. Oh man, I got that Tillamook chocolate peanut butter ice cream. But I'm cutting, I'm, I'm getting back to some clean eating. I put on a few extra pounds got to get ready for hot girl summer right all right there's a win nice where does that get us back to 171 okay let's go back to 45 dollar our high was 186 so this will get us back there Get us back there. Just keep an eye on this VIP because I'm just super excited. 9983. We'll get a big message that pops up here. Supposedly it's from a person, but you know, it's bot. Congratulations, Brent. Very soon you should see a bonus coming your way. I'll be like, nice. Okay. Liking that. All right, 15829 again. 15829. Back there again to 594. I don't know why sometimes I can't just alt tab. You hit alt tab. Normally alt tab goes is it cuz I have too many screens open? Normally you can go alt tab and it just flips you back and forth between the last one you've been at. Right. 
There, it works there, but it doesn't work going back the other way. There's Camstasia. Alright. No! How's supposed to do that? Okay. Why is that? Recording indicator. All right. Come on, get us over 600. Yeah, sorry, I'm flipping around making you guys dizzy. Get us over 600. I'll stop that nonsense. Again, a shout out. I appreciate the really kind comments yesterday. Greetings to all over. Someone from Germany. Welcome, Germany. I love German food, by the way. Love, love, love German food. We're going to stay up at 90. Man, I mean, I could literally just eat sauerkraut. Forgive me if some of what I'm saying isn't like true German food. I think it is, but I love the good bratwurst and sauerkraut. I could eat that every day, all day. I put sour, when I have sauerkraut, I put it on everything. I put it on my sandwiches, I put it on everything. My quesadillas, my wraps, everything. I also love kimchi. Yeah, don't breathe in anybody's face, but man, I love kimchi. All right, look at that. Where are we at now? 15844. 609. What did we bet just now? That's 90. We don't want to do that. All right, let's go down to 45. What is our average now? 298. We're almost there. We are almost to our $300 average daily goal. 298 bucks. So we need a couple more wins here. And we will have it. Whew. That was going to zero. Ninety nine point nine two. Okay. Come on now. I feel like I should bump up to one thirty five to get us there a little bit faster. Let's just take it forty five. Let's just take it nice and slow. We got we're up a nice six hundred and eight bucks or whatever that is. Six hundred nine dollars, so let's just preserve that. This will be another good day. We were five hundred and three bucks yesterday and six hundred and four the day before that, I think. Or was that the twelve hundred dollar day a couple days before that? We've had a good run. No, okay. Whew. That's twenty six twice. Right. Okay. Let's roll. Come on now. I really want to bump up these bets to get to the uh, next VIP. Like I said yesterday, it's like Christmas. Just, let's just see what it is. Maybe we should go to the other table, though, and play five double streets and see what happens. We're doing so well here, though. Which is funny. I mean, we're 18 and 19. 19 and 8. I mean, that's just a little over 2 to 1, right? So, but we've been lucky on this run, and we've been lucky on winning when we needed it. Shazam! All right, let's keep going. There's Coach Mustache. Shout out, Coach.
Breaking the new dealer curse. Ugh. Oh, there's a loss. Dang, burn it. It's all right. It's all right. We go up to 90 now. And we're going to leave it at 90 twice in a row. Well, unless we lose, then we'll go up to 180. Come on now. Okay, there's one. We're gonna go 90 again to get ahead, not just break even. Black number four. Oh, come on now. All right. 18, 4, 10, 26. All right, we're going to go for it one more time. We're going to stay here one more time. If you wonder what I'm doing, I have this cushion for my chair, my Aaron chair, because the arms are really hard, but the cushion isn't quite big enough, so I'm putting my knee on the cushion, and it keeps falling off. You know what I'm going to do? I've been standing all morning. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to take a load off. Oh, here we go. Now I don't have to keep putting that cushion back on and driving you all nuts. All right, let's go. Come on, let's roll. We're at 180 now. No. Huh. All right, here we go. Let's hope we're not having a day two reflection. Deja vu. Come on now. Look at that. Just unlocked VIP. Platinum three. Woof. That's what a little losing will do for you. <laughs> All right, congratulations. You've lost. So we're going to reward you. All right, there's there's coming back a little. All right. Let's go. be a pop-up down here a chat pop-up that will tell us when they that chat bot will come up and tell us what uh, we've won no you son of a gun mm -mm -mm. All right, that was what, $360 bet, $360 bet? Yeah, that was $360. All right, we were up what? How much were we up here? $246. This is a 
540 bet. We need to win this twice. That'd be 180 plus one. That'd be 360. That would just barely get us over. If we win twice, we'll just be barely breaking even there. 15, 5, 4, 4. I just want to see where we're at. 15, 5, 4, 4. So right now we're at 309. We could quit right now and take our $300 day. Let's go. Let's go and hope we can grab this one. This would get us up, what, $80 above ground? About same as right here. <laughs> yeah, that would put us up right here. We would have to win this twice at 540, and I'm not going to do that. Not going to do that. Oh my dang. No bueno. 639. We're going to power through. Didn't I say I wasn't going to do this today? Didn't say today wasn't supposed to be like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hope we can stop it right here. Let's hope we can cut it off at the knees right here. Let's hope we can cut it off right now. I don't want to be chasing this again. Come on now. So this would give us a 360. Fuck me, Duda. Unreal, right? Unreal. I don't like that. I don't like her anymore. <laughs> mm. All right, let's go. 2160. I don't like this because now we got to spin that sucker. What is that? A seven, three, six, seven hundred twenty win. That's fourteen something. We'd have to win that just to get down minus three hundred. This would put us. We lose this one. This would put us down about where we were. No, even more than we were down thirty-eight some hundred dollars yesterday. Okay, phew. All right. Let's go, let's go. I'm all out of water, too. Come on. Got my young girl Phoebe sitting on my work laptop over here. She likes it because it's hot. Come on, Phoebe. We got this, right? <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Uh, we are just sucking hindquarters this morning. Oh, my God. Devastating. Mmm, I don't know if I want to go to 4,000. Not with the luck we're having. We're going to take a pause and come back, and we will get it. So, all right, another crazy day. I'll be back. <laughs> all right, we're back for just a quick couple spins. As you remember, we were down. Overall, we're down 2751. We did get our Platinum 3... Um, show you that oh, that's not it I'll find that another time we did get our platinum 3 bonus it turned out to be $888 $880 so oh awesome winning some more uh, but I put that into the vault so we have an extra $880 I'm not going to track that here that's going to be put into the rainy day fund but we did get our rake back of 81 dollars so we'll go ahead and claim that and our daily reload now for the next 45 days we get 85 36 so we'll claim that 
but we're gonna leave the eight 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 hundred eighty dollars we're gonna leave that in the vault and add it to our vault balance here and beef it up on that end I don't want to lose sight of where we're at here so we're just gonna keep going like this and I'm gonna leave it at 270 so we are down a little over $2,700 today. So I'm going to grind some of this back. And then maybe if we're feeling really good, maybe make a couple big plays. But right now we're just going to see how we do. And yeah. Not worried. Not worried whatsoever. So we're back down to 151, which is higher than we were when we had our back loss. So you saw how quickly we gained that back in a couple of days so i'm not worried about it again it's 300 average for 365 days so just gotta grind it out and stay put oh another loss boy they don't like me today they don't like me today or at least the second half of this <laughs> keep the faith my friends keep the faith We'll get on another stretch here and we will tear it up. All right. Let's first get back to even here. We're going to have to bet 540 a couple times. Well, we won one, lost, we lost one, one, lost. So if we did 540 twice, we'd actually be above. We don't have to leave it at 540 twice if we don't want to. But we're going to. All right, there's one. Let's see if we can get on a run here. I only want to play a couple. It's another beautiful day. I think this is the last beautiful day we're going to have. So I want to get outside and enjoy it. Let's see the weather. Today, yeah, starting tomorrow, rain, Thursday, rain, Friday is going to be partly cloudy. Then the week after this, starting Monday, looks pretty decent. Partly cloudy, partly sunny all week, so that's nice. So we're getting into April, starting to get to some of that better weather. Oh my goodness. They are kicking our ass right now. Oof. Dun -dun, na -na -na. All right, let's go to 135 and grind out a couple wins here before we get too far down. I know, I know. Brent, what were you doing? You were up 600 bucks. I get it. That's all right. I'm playing the way I play. Man, look at that red, run of reds down here. Ooh, doggy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Okay, good thing we got off. that Man, that second street was kicking our ass. Probably should have moved off there a long time ago. All right. Let's get a couple here. We got some tracks to make. We have some tracks to make. We just added another 630 deficit. I feel like the federal government here. I need more water too. Okay, come on. Man, that was some unlucky spins there. Okay. All right, all right, all right. 585. We're going to go 1,080 on one spin. I don't want to go below our $9,000 original stake. We'll see if this gent can give us a, a, a string of some runs here.
if we're lucky enough to win this, this would be a $360 win. Oh, Nelly. We are just like sucking hind tit. All right. We're just going to go back to a 135 bet. I can't believe the luck we're having today. There'll be days like this. There'll be days like this. All right. Targets here. We're at 10850. First target's going to be 11,000. Down here. I'm looking in the right corner. So much for that run of good luck. Okay. We're just looking to get back up to 11 right now. So there's 1130. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Once we feel like we're getting on a good run, then I'll go back into a bigger bet. But for right now, we're not doing well, so we'll stay away. And we'll just kind of chip away at this deficit that we're at right in front of us. I'm not worried about the deficit earlier. We're keeping an eye on down on the balance and the overall ball game. There's nine innings of this bad boy. We are at the top of the first. Come on now. We haven't even struck out three times yet. Okay. There's two. Nice. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. All right, come on now. Hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. Oh. All right, let's see. They're kind of all over the place, aren't they? 14, 11, 17, 27. There was a 35, 12, 4, 3, 6. We're just going to keep on this. I'm going to bump up to 540 right now. All right, we're still 1,400 uh, above our original stake. And mind you, we have that extra $880 sitting in the bank. This included the $85 bonus we got um, today. There, that got us ahead from that last loss, right? This was minus 15.75. 30. So come down here. Like I said, I want to keep that 880 as surplus so that if the day ever comes that we do really have to dig deep into our pockets, the more I put that, that surplus, the better it is. In fact, I might just start making that a thing. Whenever we get back to our $300 daily goal, any surplus above that, I'm going to start moving it to the vault and keeping track of it there. That way we're just looking at exactly our $300, keep us on track. Okay, come on now. I feel really good about the spin. I was literally just now tempted to go to a $4,000 bet on this one. Let's see how it would have played out. I feel this was going to be, my gut tells me this would have been a good one to go on 4000 And we lost so much. My gut is so far off today. It's ridiculous, right? Ugh. 
All right. I'm going to go up to 540 on this one. I'd like to say, see, I would tough it through, but we just had too many losses to feel good about getting at least three wins to one loss. Come on now. Okay. So that takes us up because we double doubled. That takes us up above where we were when we lost. That's good. Okay, so grinding it back. What we, we were down like what was our low? A 1665. We're at 1440. So we've made up some ground. $225. A drop in the bucket for what we're down, but that's all right. All right, next stop down there, we're at minus, we're at 11,075 plus the 135. If we were to lose 1175, where do we want to be with this? Um, next stop is 11,500 profit or 11,500 bankroll. Poof. There's our angel. There's our angel. All right, let's go. That's what we gotta do. We gotta get exciting, excited again. All right, we're at 12 minutes and 52 seconds in. I would love to get on a consistent run here, be able to go in big, possibly win one or two big hits. That'd be nice. Come on now. All right, all right, all right. Okay. 11,300. We said we were going 11,500, right? All right. What's up, boss? Boy wants out, but we saw a coyote running in our backfield yesterday, so cats are on lockdown, and it's driving him nuts because it's so nice outside. He wants to go catch a mouse again. He caught one yesterday. Yeah, you just lay on my lap. All right. Okay, there we go. Look at that. We're hitting that first street. 25, 15, 3... Nice. All right. 11,345. Let's hit the 11,500. Let's go. Come on now. Nope, there's our first. That's a loss. That's all right. We're at 12.6. We got to get one now and then, right? Actually, I'm playing a, more, a little more risky, so I'm going to go up to 540 again. That way, one spin, we're... We're uh, back and up. It's definitely risky, not the way I normally like to play. We'll definitely be taking a loss today. I'm not trying to climb out of that hole today, and that's all right. right so that pops us above where we l left off and above so that's good let's keep going 
What are we at now? We're at 11.390. Dealer change. Oh, it's Smiley. I'm going to pause it. We're going to come back. Let's see how Smiley does. Okay, we're back. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can make some more tracks on this. If I have to run out, it's because I have someone coming to pick up my old washer and dryer unit. Costco was going to just take them away, but I know they were going to junk them, and there's really nothing wrong with them. I just needed something newer, more powerful that can handle bigger loads because with my mom and dad here, I'm washing sheets and blankets and comforters all the time. So, you know. All right, here we go. Let's keep rolling, rolling, rolling. So obviously since I was going to be wrong on that last big bet, I said I would bet. I'm not going to do it because we are just off the mark this second half. So we're going to have to get on a pretty good run before I'll try taking on a big bet. And even then, like I said, I fully expect to go into the hole today and that's okay. That's okay. There's going to be days like that. The important thing is we stay in decent positive territory and just keep chugging along. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Next stop, 12,000, yeah? 12,000. We will play a little bit more aggressive after a couple wins. I'll bump it up. So we won't play strictly by those same rules. Ooh, 13 and 21, that's terrible. Hmm. Junky. Junky. Who we got here? Oh, we got Iris again. Didn't we do well with Iris? I thought we did. Could be coming into this fourth street. I mean, she's only rolled one fourth street this entire time. Well, there's a ten. Never mind, two. Oh my! No bueno. Come on now. Okay, let's get to it. All right, we definitely don't want to lose three in a row. I don't want to lose two in a row. Okay, that's good. Right between a 10 and a 24, losing numbers. Oof, is that a sign? Let's go for it. Is that a sign? Is she about ready to swing it back to the fourth column numbers? Fourth column, fourth street numbers. Come on now. Oh, come on. Three zeros and four rolls. That's absolute garbage. <laughs> 
Hmm. Hmm. Was that a 540 bet? Hmm. Better if we sit out this spin. I'll let it sit out a couple spins. We'll be back. All right, we're back. We got a new dealer. It's going at 135 reverse. All right, we're going to make one last play here at 1,080. That takes us down to 9636 above our, above our original stake, but close to it. If we lose this one... We're gonna come back this evening and literally grind so damn slow, it's ridiculous. And just kind of build this up to 10,000, then 11,000, etc. So let's see if we can get lucky here. Get a 360 win. See if he's ending our streak. Oof, that gave me a heart attack for a second. All right. And uh, there'll be days like this. Let's go one more. Oof, that one gave me chills. Okay, this gets us up to, if we lose this, we're still at 10,000, give or take. And remember, we have that, we have about, what is our balance? Our vault balance is 22818 so I had put stuff in there from our bonuses and just prior, as we were starting, I added some extra stuff to the vault balance on some wins. So we have 22,818. So technically we have $2,818 there. All right, another good win. Sweet. We are not gonna look a gift horse in the mouse on this one. So we're just gonna go back to 135. Okay. I like this guy, I'm feeling good with this guy. Let's see if we can knock this out to uh, a thousand. And if we're doing on a well trajectory here, I may place a couple 4K bets. I know, I know. And don't you dare, those are saying, see, he's gonna lose everything. Even if we played 4,000, we're up 2,003 plus 2,000 something above our stake on our vault. So technically we actually have a 4,000 and $4,500 above our balance right now. So even if I lose a 4,000, we still have all of our original stake money. Okay. I know, I was feeling good with this guy. But I was feeling good earlier when we lost, right? Come on now. Oof. But if we're going to lose, better on this one than the last two, right? Absolutely. 32. All right, let's roll. Come on, my friend, Chris. Get us back here to this 4th Street area. Okay, okay, okay. And for those of you who keep saying there's no strategy, it's just you're just throwing bets out there and praying it'll hit well fuck yeah it's gambling <laughs> hell yeah i'm putting chips down there and hoping it hits no shit if it were a, a guaranteed thing it wouldn't be gambling so yes i fully admit i put chips down there and i hope we hit it come on now
Oof. That's not what we wanted. Come on, Chris. What did he get before that? Seven? All right. Come on, Chris. Do us good. Do us good. Actually, I'm going to go 1000 This would leave us still over $10,000. So that would be a thousand up here, plus if we want to count the 2,500 or whatever we have. What do we have here? We have 20, let's see, 21. We have 1,818. 18, 18 is what we have. Dude, get off my keyboard. Come on, pal. I know. You want attention. As long as you got away from that zero. No! Oh my goodness, right when we switch, right? Right when we switch, then it goes the other way. <laughs> Come on, pal. I'm glad you're home. All right, we're down to 10,008. That's rough. It's been a rough day, huh? So we're gonna leave it for right now. We're gonna come back. We're just gonna grind out some wins and get this bad boy up to a little bit more today. And live to fight another day. I mean, we're still $1,000 up. We're not, I said it before, we're not out of it. We're going to have to make some tracks. We will have to start playing some little bit smarter ball. A lot smarter ball. I won't be pushing the envelope so hard moving forward until we get caught back up a little bit. Or when I get, I should say, I'm going to push the envelope until we get caught up. But we were pretty much caught up today. I could have definitely used off the throttle. But I'm having a great time. Oh, now he hits 19. Now he hits 19. What did he hit before? 22, 14. Hmm. Well, at least let's just go with a uh, $9 bet. So we can end on a win, right? That was brutal. 22. Come on now. This $9 bet means everything. <laughs> All right, four. That away. That away. Eighty-nine, so we can go forty-five dollar bet, stay above the ten thousand. We want to stay above the ten thousand dollar mark. Not gonna get crazy. Well, I'm not going to get any crazier than I have been. So I'm glad we have that rainy day, extra $1,800 in the rainy day fund. Could totally pull that $1,800 in and be at $11,018, bring it up to twelve, and then bet with that money and keep us above the $9,000. But I'm going to leave it over there so we can keep seeing our regular $9,000 balance. I don't even want to touch that right now. Oof, we're just losing, losing, losing. All right, 10,000, we got one more bet at this much before we lose, we're at 9,999. This has been a wickedly bad day. I think this is the worst day we've had, right? Yeah, of course, we're down 26 plus 30. We're down like 50, 51, 5,200 bucks today, easily. Let's say we, we, we end up at $10,000. Oof, 5235 lost day. Oof. What does that give us for our Oof, average daily balance went down to $43. That's brutal. All right, there's a win. Come on, let's get a couple more of these. Let's get three more, get back that one loss cuz we can't double up cuz I don't want to go below 10,000. Alright, let's go. You know the great thing about tomorrow? It's a brand new day. You know what the great thing about an evening session tonight when I come back? It's a whole new session. Was this day 23? 
Mm. Yeah, we need to call it quits. We just cannot do anything but lose. <laughs> we cannot do anything but lose this afternoon. All right, I'm out. Maybe come back in this evening. I will come back and do some small bets again and see if we can grind this 10,000 up. Maybe get it up to 11,000 or even 10,200, whatever. We'll see what we can get. All right. Hope everyone's having a great day. Bye. All right. Back for a quick late afternoon session. Got all the ferns trimmed and raked out and all the bushes trimmed and raked. She wanted the lawn mode driveway and everything with the blower done Whew. So now I'm gonna finish a little of this and then go outside and enjoy the sunshine so I'm not even looking at the disaster that I put myself into and that's all right we're just gonna play a little bit of this at a time I'm gonna put you on mute and for a change no commentary, just uh, do what we're gonna do and I'm gonna eat my celery sticks and peanut butter, all right?
we're back. Hit a little patch there. Luckily we won the the two big ones there we needed at 540. So we'll need this one to get back to 135. Come on now. Okay. Phew. Thought I was going to hit that five. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Someone said, and I like this idea that they just kind of skim through and watch the thumbnail, and then when they see the chart doing something crazy, then they'll stop and watch that. That's that's a good way to do it. I do that myself. Actually, when I'm editing the video and I'm going back and looking at it, and I don't edit the video, but when I'm trying to make sure everything's lined up, I want to make sure my volume and everything isn't too loud, and I want to replay some of the day, I do the exact same thing. Okay. So far, she's been good to us. Get out of there. Whew. All right. Doing well, doing well. Eight and two. All right. Four to one ratio, looking good. Someone said, when the ratio is really nice, like we have it, four to two, why don't I drop my bets down knowing that it's gonna come the other way, and when the ratio is really shitty, increase the bets. It's not a bad idea, it's not a bad idea. Because the ratio ends up working itself out to be a little less than three to one usually, right? Sometimes better, sometimes worse. Okay. What a one on one or a 33. <clears throat> All right, let's give it another go. So according to that method, I would scale back down and maybe bet this one at 45 and keep betting at 45 until until I lose a couple until that gets back down to like but on the days that it was on the periods that it was going really well we would have missed out on a lot of wins when we go on those nice really long runs nice All right, well, we, we wanted to get it to maybe 11,000 today. Might push it slightly more aggressive here. Wouldn't mind getting it up more and then betting at 540 no matter what. Next to that thirty. All right, let's keep rolling. Dang, I can't get into that other server. It's just connection error. I've cleared out my cache. I've done everything, but it, I just it's not consistent. I would love to be able to get into another server to play some five double streets.
Okay, come on now. Oof. Just rolled over that. Just rolled over that. Boss lady asked me, how's it going today? I said, oh, I don't know, we lost like, how much did we lose? How much were we down? Last left 5,000 bucks. She's like, oh. And she had heard me the other day about food. She's, and she knows that, trust me. She knows my background story. She's like, well, it looks like we'll be eating bologna tonight. And tomorrow night. And the next night. <laughs> uh, I said, yeah. Not quite, not ever. Look at this run. Damn. Here I was thinking about putting $4,000 down on a couple spins. Man, we would have been kicking ass by now. Or been crying, right? <laughs> yep. After this many spins, I'm definitely not going up. Bound to hit a whack here. I feel like every time I say that, it hits a whack. Ooh, nice, almost hit that six again. Well, we sure climbed up to fight 500 in a hurry. It's 12 minutes, 32 seconds. We only had two losses. <laughs> That's amazing. I think, right, was, didn't we have like a 9 to 1 once? I think we had a 9 to 1 ratio the other day. Come on now. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Now, it's not making a big dent, but it's making, you know, you got to forget about everything that happened prior. All right, we're going to go down to 45. Let's see, clear, what do we have? 10, 5, 5, 4. Let's go here, 10, 5, 5, 4. Hey, look at that. We're only down $4,681. Told you. Told you, told you. We have a couple more runs like that, and we're right back in the saddle. In fact, I'll probably call it quits right now here for this session. And, uh, you know, do what should be done normally. I take full responsibility knowing what I did today. I want to say... I mean, I don't regret it from that respect. Certainly we lost, but I don't regret it. I'm doing what I want to do. Let's roll. Okay. Man, we're on a run. 16 and 2. 8 to 1. 8 to 1. Two more wins and we'll be a 9 to 1. This is a pretty awesome. Nice. I think we'll play till my first loss. I want to stay above 500. So we'll just play at this 45 level until the first loss. Man, oh lie, she's crushing it. Crushing it for us. we can get two more wins then we can yeah never mind one loss and I'm out one forty-five dollar loss and I'll check out and come back and play another session later there it is <coughs> excuse me all right there's our loss 
So we are going to call it. That's a nice little $525 profit. Yeah. What do we have for our, do we already take our rake backs today? Now we got 20 bucks. Our reload's not for a while, another 85 bucks. And when is the daily? Three days for a couple more hundred dollars. All right, I'll be back. Cheers. All right, back for another couple uh, quick hits maybe. Let's go, let's go one, three, four. What was the last roll here? 12, nine. 25, 35, 19, 17, oops, a hit, 35, 24, 5, all right, I'm feeling pretty good about those, feel like we could play through if we wanted to really get aggressive, go all the way through with it, just trying to get one or two more wins, get us up past 600, okay, there's one, See if we can get our net gain up to a thousand. How's that? Not in this one time, but jump in and do every two. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll try a day where all you do is you get two spins per session. Two spins. That's it. Win or lose, you get two spins. And you can either leave them flat bets or you can bet then double or triple up if you want to whatever but you get two spins per session that would be kind of interesting oof Shoo. so there would be our two spins and we would be gone right and we would come back another time I like that maybe we're going to try that Maybe we might try that. Oh damn, I just forgot I was supposed to take a uh, pork roast out of the freezer this morning. <laughs> oh, and I forgot that. I told everybody I was going to make uh, pork luau. You know, slow cooker, put some s smoke in there, just some salt, let it cook all day till you can shred it apart. Mmm. Okay. Yum yum. Sometimes I, I prefer it with like pineapple juice and some pineapples in there. Just give it that kind of that sweet flavor. Serve it over some, I prefer sticky rice and some, I'm not a real huge bread person, but man, I love King's Hawaiian. I love Hawaiian bread, that sweet bread. Mm. Or super soft Hawaiian bread or in Puerto Rico they make some loaves in the morning that are just super soft white bread with some melted butter on it. I could get fat on that all day. There we are. We're at 705. That was four spins. So we got four spins. Went to 705. We're going to call it and we'll be back a little later. Cheers. Okay. Another quick hit and run. Let's see if we're lucky enough to get two hits here and get up to 800 crossing our fingers if we can do this tomorrow maybe I'll enact the two spins no matter what two spins no matter what okay 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 let's see how far along we are to our new VIP. We're 1.54% there. Oof, we got a long ways to go. We do have a nice little 21 rake back. Since we uh, last claimed it earlier this morning. All right, let's see where we're at. Mind you, again, we put our $880 VIP tier three to the um, platinum three or whatnot. We put that into our vault, so it's not showing here. Seven ninety-five. We're gonna go for three dollars. Go for two wins here on a nine dollar nine lines. See if we can get this two wins, and we'll come back later.
Okay. Got a big pile of laundry I gotta fold back there anyway. Gotta do that, start thinking about dinner. Took out some stuff that's frozen, but you know, I don't wanna defrost it, so I think we're just gonna have a, just gonna have a plain salad tonight. Okay, okay, there's one, 98. Let's go, one more hit, we'll be up for this session. Eight hundred dollars. Nice. Twenty-four and three. Eight to one. Eight to one ratio. Love to see that. Love to see that. All right, come on, just this one, and then we can call it over. And these are the ones you love, right? Because if you lose, you're losing nine bucks. Although, how many times have we done this and it kind of goes sideways when you lose this and then, look at that. Lose that, then you double up and... All right, let's double up here. Oh, Smiley's back. All right, Smiley, let's see what you can do for us. So serious. And I'm just teasing. I mean, maybe she's got a lot of stuff going on in her life right now. So I'm just teasing with you, Zara. Doesn't help that that's almost my ex-wife's name. Urgh. All right, let's go. Give us two wins right here. Two wins is all we need. Okay, there's one. And this one would take us home. This one would get us to 801. I mean, you think about it now at the tier three level, they're going to give me 80 some dollars, right? 80 some dollars a day for 45 days. 85.36 for 45 days. Oh, there's 801. So we're at 10.815. So what did I say it was? 85.36 times 45 days. Let's put a plus sign for that. That's $3,841 we're getting for 45 days, plus the weekly bonus, plus the monthly. So I could stop playing right now, right? We have our 815 plus we have another 1818 profit in the vault, I think. We could stop playing right now and take this profit plus this profit plus the 1818 plus the weekly plus the monthlies and just ride that out until the 45 days and we would keep collecting that for 45 days and we'd have another, I don't know, six, six grand on top of what we have here. So pretty cool, huh? All right, so for the day, we're down 4,420. Oof, that's all right. Our average daily is back up to 79. It was down like 43. We're going to keep chugging away, and we'll see what happens. All right, I'll be back for another session. Let's see if we can get this up to $1,000 tonight before we call it quits, and tomorrow's a brand new day. All right, cheers. Hey, y'all, so we're back for a final session this evening. This is it. We left off at 10815, which is where we're at right now, uh, minus the bet of $9. 10. So we're at 10806 plus 9 is 10815. So we're going to see what we can do. All right. I don't know if they did 
they had it on. Uh, there was something happened on the wheel, and it was they had to reset it, so it was sitting there for a while on this 24 spin, and then you can see this no spin symbol here. So something happened. I don't know what it was, but we're starting over here again. If we were playing reverse, this would have been a hell of a run. I mean, here was 15. That would have been a loss. And no other losses, right? The 15 only, I think. Yeah. That would have been a heck of a run right there. Let's see if we can just get a couple quick runs. I'm trying to remember, were we up seven or eight hundred dollars? I think we were up 800 or 700 anyway. So if I could grab a quick 200 or maybe even 300, that would give us at least $1,000 back from the deficit. Not bad, not bad. Let's see, where are we at? Okay. Well, let's open this up so you can see it better. All right, let's see what we can do. Let me just save everybody a lot of trouble tomorrow. Yes. I understand I could have stopped at 600. No, it's not greed. No, it's not the ability not to control myself. I take full responsibility for what happened today and I choose it. And I, I did it a couple days ago and I chose to do it again today and I will do it again down the road. That's how I play, that's how I've always played. I mean, some of you asked, how did I, what did I do to get, I took chances. I mean, I think I already told you guys this. When I, way back when I was in college, I took the college loans and I invested it in stocks. And along the way, I put all my money and then I started putting it all in Apple. You know how many Apple times Apple dropped in half? And I stuck with it. I kept investing. Dollar cost averaging. Oh, darn it. Dollar cost averaging means you just, on a regular basis, you put money into it. You don't try to time it, you just... And so I kept dollar cost averaging, I just kept investing and Apple came back and it had two for one splits and it dropped down during COVID and stocks crashed. You know, I think, I was trying to remember an article, if you talk to the really, you know, um, the Warrens of the world, Warren Buffett's of the world, the they say they take chances. Those are the people who took chances. I'm willing to take chances. We're, we're not even down again. We're not even down into our original bankroll. We still have another, um, I don't know how much we have now in our bankroll. We have $22,818 in our vault. In addition to this 10,000 plus dollars we have here not even close all right look at that we're caught back up what did it say i don't know it said something about continuing the game there's an issue here oh are they not counting the spin why is there i don't know why Maybe it didn't go around three times, who knows. See, this is the part I don't like. Okay, you're gonna respin, at least let everybody clear the bets. You know? Well, I'm glad we didn't, because we won. And we got dealer chains. All right, we're up 93. That's too bad. She was just crushing. Other than this one here, and way back before this, she she hadn't hit a first. Uh, let's go Nine Street for nine. Oh, we just we just we just passed it. All right, come on now. 
I could have paused that just now so you guys didn't have to sit through this bin. I'll try to be better about that. 33, 116. All right, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I like this guy, Shanky. I don't remember if we've done good with him or not. I think we do good with Shanky. We'll see. Okay, where would we need to be at? What's a good number? Yeah, I would love to get all the way if I had more time, but. Um, we're gonna watch an episode, an uplifting episode of Dateline. I gotta tell you, I'm hooked on Dateline. I love Dateline. I mean, I feel bad for the victims, but I mean, that shit's crazy, right? We're at six to one. So we're expecting a loss, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I would love to hit another 420 bucks off of this, but that's not gonna happen. But maybe we can shave 200 off. And then maybe I get crazy and I do a big bet and get the remaining 240 back. Who knows? Who knows? Dust in the wind, baby. Dust in the wind. Okay, good. Nice. All right. 10998. That's 10998. That gets us up to 4,237. That's it? Wow. That's nothing. Oh, and I'll repeat this again tomorrow. So I did call contact stake, uh, the VIP support and said, Hey, what's the difference if you just, if you just sign up from stake.us and you just sign up as somebody who goes to stake.us and just signs up versus going through somebody at their uh, affiliate link and you sign up under their link. What's the difference? So here is the definitive answer. One, if you go and sign up for stake.us or stake.com just on your own, you'll start from, the, from scratch and you'll earn your additional perks as you go along, meaning the daily bonuses, the rake back, the weekly, monthly uh, additional bonuses and such. If you sign up for an affiliate link, depending on their rank, you will automatically get the additional bonuses and you'll get rake back now and you'll get rake back at the rate that the person that you signed up with gets their rate back so in other words whatever that percentage is because it increases as the tiers go okay if that makes sense so here's the catch this is where i think it's kind of sneaky when you sign up for the through an, someone's affiliate link once you're signed up you need to contact support you go up to this little person up in the top right and you go live support and contact them. They're very, very fast, by the way, so it's not a big deal. I mean, literally, they respond usually within a minute or one to three minutes, they respond, and it's a, a chat window. You have to contact them and say, hey, I just finished signing up through an affiliate link. Please activate my rake back and my additional daily bonuses, at which time those will then become active and you will get the rake back that the person who you signed up on, whatever tier they're at, you will match their tier level of the rake back. You won't get the weekly and the monthly bonuses at the same levels, but and not even the dailies, but the dailies and stuff, you will get them at a lower level, but you'll get them. The rake back normally has to be earned. You'll get that right off the bat. So do with that what you will. I'll repeat that again because I know some people sign up to the affiliate link, do it or don't, I don't care. But if you're planning on playing a lot, you can probably just sign up right off the bat. And if you're playing like I'm playing and you're playing quite a bit, you'll probably move up to the ranks and get that stuff pretty quickly anyway. Oof, where are we at? 11178. Oh, look at that. Man, we're crushing it. We're $57 away. Wow. Here I thought we were so far away. And we're not. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. 
like I said, I'm not pushing my, my link. I was trying to make it easy for you and for some of you to get some extra bonuses. The Like I showed you guys the commission page. It's, they don't give you shit for commissions, okay? So, I mean, it's a drop in the bucket. What did I have in there? What was it, like $34 or something? I've never claimed it. Anyway, so just sign up straight up. Nice, look at this. 11223 we're $12 away okay what were we doing reverse right reverse all right we'll go 45 if we can get this one we're done for the night I'll call it quits anyway I'll repeat all that I don't know how many people are watching to the very end but I'll I'll show that oh I also pulled up a picture that I'll show tomorrow it showed in December my uh, being at the Mandalay in the high limit room and throwing down you know five thousand dollar bets there so it's not just here um, when I go to when I go to the Mandalay I like throwing down some big bets oh my goodness look at that right had to be on that last spin to get us where we're going. At least it was a $45 bet spin. If I had a little more time, I would have dropped it down to a $9 bet, just done a couple of those. But honestly, we haven't even eaten tonight. We've been so busy working outside, coming in, taking care of my parents that we have a, a really good salad going on. Go, get away from the monitor. Come on, pal. So I'm starving, it's 10.30. Although I'm used to eating late a lot of times. 15, come on, what is happening here, Shanky? All right, go somewhere, dude, come on. Hmm. We'll go one more. We're at 180. If we lose this one, we're up, what, $93? So maybe we just call it quits at $93 profit for this little session right here, which isn't bad for 12 minutes right now that we've been going. I've been looking in Campstasia. I, I could have sworn they have a way of putting a timer on the video from when the video starts so that as we're watching this video, you would have a timer up there. I think that would be kind of cool so you can see how long the play was. All right, good, there's a win. Bubba, move. Just come on, Swaybean. Watch the keyboard, pal. All right, now we gotta do this again. But, at least if we lose, we're up 150. Because we're winning 60 bucks on these. Oh, you're just gonna lay down right here on me? Okay. I'm on my standing desk and he's just barely laying on the edge of the keyboard tray in my arms. You're a good boy. See him? He's a good kid. Yeah. He's a super cuddler. Oh, phew. Thought I was going to go in that one. All right. 393. Dude. I know. I'm going to pay attention, pal. All right. I don't remember where we were at. We were at 408, 393. Let's go here. Okay, lay down. And he's the loudest, loudest purr. He's one of the cats that when he snuggles up to you, then he starts stretching out on his back and he's like Gumby. You can move him around, toss him, turn him, switch him sides and he'll just keep laying there. He's a super snuggler cat. Now Phoebe, our little girl, you like, you barely touch her wrong and she's pissed. Okay, we're back to 11223, right? All right, dude, I need you down. 11223, so we are $12 away. Well, let's clear that. What's going on? Well, let me clear that. Oh, okay, I don't know, that was a glitchy. Had all those $25 chips all over the place. All right, we're $15, $12, we're $12 away from getting to our goal right here. This is a good little run, look at this. 
15 minutes and we're up $408. Look at that. Soybean saved us money. Hit a two. We're going to go 134 for 45. Let's see if we can get this. All right, 134 for 45, Alex. Come on, come on, come on. My dad loves Shauna. I couldn't get him to eat tonight. Made him nice, fresh uh, Alfredo, you know, with giant jumbo shrimp in it. He was just would not eat, and he's like, Shauna, Shauna. So I'm like, Shauna. <laughs> Can you come down here and feed my dad? Yes. 423. All right, what's our balance? 11238. 11238. We broke the three, the $4,000 mark. Nice work. Hey, look at this. Our balance is almost back up to 100 daily. It was down to like 33, you know? So we're so in this thing. So in this thing, it was a really exceptionally shitty day. I mean, I can't believe how many losses we got early and then we were storming it. If I had felt a little more comfortable, had a little more time, we were on two very good runs this, this last section, these last couple of sessions, I would have gone in big. I mean, this is, this was a great run here. So what, 16 and three, so over five and one. Anyway, love you guys. We hang tight, we persevere, we keep moving. Tomorrow's a new day. We're going to forget about today. We're going to keep trucking along, and I'm going to keep playing the way I keep playing. So all of you in the comments that want to be naysayers or tell me I said say, I told you so, go for it. But don't tell me we're out of this. Don't tell me we've gone bankrupt. We're not even close. All right. Be good humans. Be good to yourse yourselves. Be good to others. Hug your family. They're precious. All right. Cheers.